Hey there, I'm Tyler and welcome back to the channel. This is an 8 inch jointer and that is a beautiful 15 inch planer. How exactly does that make sense? I am gearing up to process a whole bunch of hickory back there that as you can see is much wider than the 8 inch jointer that I have. You can obviously get wider jointers but they cost a lot of money and you will very rarely use the full capacity of that machine. In my opinion, you're better off getting a machine that you will use the full capacity on much more often but you can still joint pieces that are much wider than 8 inches and today we're going to show you how it's done. So here is the material that we will be working with. 15 inches, 13 and a half or so. And this piece of hickory, this is eight quarter by the way, it's 16 inches on the end. We're gonna take this piece right here, 13 and a half inches wide and process it using an eight inch jointer. There are actually two steps to this trick right here. The first is that you wanna take the guard off of your jointer. A little bit disconcerting, but just be careful, especially because you will have some very wide pieces. This will allow us to use the full eight inches of the jointer and hang our board off the edge here. The big trick comes over on the planer. As you can see here, we got 8 inches of the material flattened already on our 8 inch jointer. We can now take this flattened portion, turn it around and run it up against the fence to get our second side squared up. All right, hopefully not an issue in your shop, but I got the planer situated in such a way, kind of kinney cornered, where I can get a full eight foot board through there. Not something I can do with a planer parallel to the wall. So the whole trick to this operation is this board right here with a catch on the end. This board is eight inches wide, and we're gonna go ahead and slide it into our planer like so. That catch is gonna catch on the end of the infeed bed. That eight inch board, we're gonna take our jointed section and put right on top of that board and feed it through. What that's gonna do is hold the board perfectly flat and the planer will surface that other side. When we get that other side nice and parallel, we'll flip it over and we'll finish jointing that little bit right at the top there. You do wanna make sure that catch on the end is very well glued in place so the whole thing doesn't go shooting right through and you need to make sure that you take into account the three quarters of an inch which is what my board is made out of when you're making your first cut. If you have a half inch piece, make sure you take that into account instead of the three quarters. As you can see here, we have a beautiful straight grain piece of hickory. Once you get some support on the opposite side of this board, I would recommend removing the support board. Make sure you take into account the removal in your height setting and then flip this board over and surface that other side. Then you can flip it back over and take care of this. That just makes sure you have no discrepancies caused by your support board. Well, there we are, folks, a 13-inch wide heavy-duty hickory slab 
milled up using our eight inch jointer and 15 inch planer. So it can be done. You don't need a bigger machine than that. If you had a six inch machine, might have a little problem with it being super stable because that machine is very heavy over there and was able to handle this very heavy slab but it can be done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps some of you out. If it did, please hammer that thumbs up button down there because it helps us out and gets this video in front of more eyes. I'm DIY Tyler and you guys have a good one.